Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Tech Eddie Show. I'm your host, Eddie Ray, where we do tips, tricks, and tutorial videos for live streamers, gamers, and content creators. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to set up scenes in XSplit Broadcaster to make your live streams and recordings look much more professional. Stay tuned. In today's episode, it's going to be sort of a beginner's tutorial. Uh, XSplit actually gives you some presentation templates for gaming, uh, podcasting, and online talk show and presentation. We'll be covering two of these today, but really there's five to choose from and you can customize them however you want. So whether you're doing a live stream or recording, there should be something here for you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the episode. Okay, so as soon as we start here, we see sample presentations. If you don't see this page here, simply go to File and New Presentation, and it will load these onto your screen. There are five templates that XSplit actually includes for you, and when you click on one of these, it will load the presentation, and these already have some scenes set up for you. They have some webcams and sources set up too, depending upon what the category is that you chose. So whether you're live streaming or recording locally, you can use these uh, templates to your advantage and customize them for yourself. So we'll click on console gaming here. Just want to give you a brief look at what this does. This is a great way to kind of get into XSplit Broadcaster. If you're new to XSplit Broadcaster, this is a really easy way to kind of learn things and get things set up really quickly with no problem whatsoever. All right, so down here in the lower right, we have our scenes that it gave us. We have an in-game scene, we have a host scene, a start scene and a be right back scene. So those are the main three or four scenes that we'll probably be using for live streaming or video game recording, especially live streaming. But as you can see here, we're on the in-game scene right now. We have the background layer is our game capture source. We have a webcam layer over here with a border around that already and some other things as well. So this text here can be deleted. We can actually just click this little eyeball here to get rid of that. Now we have our game capture here and our webcam. We can click on the webcam, look for the webcam source down here and right click this and we'll find our webcam using the Brio. So whatever cam you have, find your webcam and the sources there and we'll load it into its proper place. And there we go, hello. Pretty cool, right? We also have some text here below so you can kind of click on this to highlight that layer and then right click to change the text. You can choose anything you want. You can put your name here, name of your channel, uh, name of your presentation, whatever you like. I'll type in Nintendo Chit Chat hosted by Eddie Ray. That's my gaming channel. And there we go. So a really nice little quick way to get your webcam integrated and a little lower third there for yourself as well. Now our game capture here, click on that. This is right click here. So this is a really easy way, step by step, that XSplit gives you to be able to create your live streams and presentation scenes right away. We'll click on my game capture, which is HD 60S. Click on that. And I can actually boot up my Nintendo Switch here as well. That way we can see the game behind me. All right, and there we go. The game capture is up behind me as well. So simply find your game capture source. Uh, if you have to, you can also uh, click on refresh up here if you don't see it right away to kind of refresh the capture device. And that should find your device pretty easily. And we're set. So we have our game capture set up. We have a webcam, we have our lower third as well. And that's just one scene. So I highly recommend using XSplit's own presentations here that give you these five or so templates. That way you can kind of easily get started. You can see how things work, how sources are inputted into the system as well. And then you can kind of customize from there. And then eventually you can kind of build your own presentation and scenes too. So again, this is just one scene. This is the in-game scene. All right, then we'll click on our next scene here to set up. This is called host scene. And this particular scene here is more or less for talking to the viewer during the live stream. When we're not actually gaming. We can come into this scene here and talk to our viewers and talk to chat. So again, to set up our sources here, I'm click on the back, click on webcam, right click, find a webcam once again. For me, it's Brio. So find your webcam here, let it load up. And hello, there we are, finally, we are back here. So the host scene's getting set up now. And the lower third here, we can right click this, 
to change this text and I'll put in Nintendo Chit Chat hosted by Eddie Ray. Again, whatever you like, you can do. You can change the fonts down here and things like that as well. You can make it bold, you can put shadows, you can make it scroll too. So kind of play with those options here for text, but lots of options. But again, a really simple way to create a host scene now. So now we have two scenes for our gaming live stream. So we switch back to our game scene by clicking in-game scene for that scene. There we go. That's our in-game scene for playing the game. Our webcam smaller, they can see more of the gameplay. We'll click back to host scene here. And boom. So even just having those two scenes uh, makes the stream much more dynamic. You can talk to your viewers with a bigger screen with a bigger webcam like this. And then when you're done, go into gameplay, play for a bit, let them enjoy the gameplay. They can still see you. And then go back to host scene again and talk to them some more. So a really cool way of doing that. So we have two more scenes to set up here. We have a starting scene. Click on this here. So this scene here is where people will come to when your stream is first starting. Um, it's kind of the pre-show, so to speak. People will come here, they'll see the screen here, knowing that things will actually begin in a short time period. So XSplit gives you a nice kind of graphic here for starting soon. Uh, you can also change some of these here. They give you handles for Twitter, uh, for Facebook and Instagram. You can hover over and right click it and then change your handles for Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. All right, so I'm actually missing the I there on purpose because my handle for Nintendo Chit Chat is Nintendo CHT Chat. So there we go. Now we have Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram all set up there and kind of promoted as well. That way they can follow us on those social media channels, helping us promote our brand and community. And that's pretty much it for the starting soon screen. Now there's no webcam here. You could add a webcam if you wanted to. Uh, pretty much you can add any other sources onto the scene if you wanted to as well by clicking add source. You could add a chat room. Uh, you could add a photo gallery, more graphics if you wanted to. But really, it's just a very basic screen here for your starting soon scene. And our last scene for this gaming live stream presentation is the B-Rate right back scene. So click on this. And this is a great scene here if you have to take a break or go to the bathroom or get something to eat or drink. Uh, you can take a break for your stream by clicking on this scene here. Nice little graphic, this is all be right back. They can also have your social media channels here as well. So pretty much the same as starting soon. It just says, I'll be right back. Going back to the host scene here. So there you go. Within a few minutes, we have our gaming live stream set up. We have our webcam up here, our lower third. We have our in-game scene by clicking on here, set up for our webcam, a lower third again, and our game capture, all set to go. So very easy. We have Be Right Back and Start Scenes as well. And this is a really easy way to begin an XSplit Broadcaster. So to change scenes, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is click on whatever scene you want to go to next, and it will go to that particular scene. So from the in-game scene, we go to the Be Right Back scene right now by clicking on that, and we'll be right back. We can mute our mic then, and then go off and do something else and come back later on. To mute the mic, you can click right here. That mutes your mic. And we're back. We can go to the host scene when we come back. And say, hey, we're back everyone, thanks for waiting. Let's get back into some more gameplay. And then click on the in-game scene, and we'll be good to go. So, really easy scene changes here in Xbox Broadcaster. If you want, you can also change the transition. Uh, the demo here is set up already for your presentation. It's called the Demo Stinger, 800 milliseconds to set up. Click the arrow here, and you can change from any one of these. You can have a cut or fade, or move left and right, move left, wave, zoom, any one of these that you want, you can choose from. We'll do a fade. So we'll go from the in-game scene here to our host scene. Again, nice fade from one scene to the next, so very powerful transition there as well. So you can kind of choose what you want here for your own needs. We'll try the zoom. We'll go from zoom to in-game scene here. And that's pretty cool, right? Nice and smooth transition, making it look very dynamic and professional too. And back to host scene. So that is just one of the templates here in Expo Broadcaster. There is five. There was also the PC gaming one, which will be a little bit different than this one here. This is more set up for console gaming. So if you do PC gaming, check out that one. There's also online talk shows and podcasts. Let's show you one of those as well. Click on File and New. Right, click on, uh, let's go to Podcast. 
All right, as always, I give you some instructions up here at the top of the page for doing a live stream or a local recording. Again, these presentations don't have to be used just for live streaming. You can also use them for recording locally as well and creating content that way. So we'll click on this text here, get rid of that, get rid of that little eyeball there to hide that. We can change our social media tag here again by right clicking and adding in our hashtags or whatever handle you want or promotion. We'll just do techeddy.online for the website. That's cool. Now we have our webcam here, so click on this. Highlight it down here and right click. Let's locate our webcam as well. Let's find your webcam. And we're back again. So here's our webcam. This is the host scene once again. So there's three other scenes to choose from. We have a desktop capture here. We can click on this one. So we have a webcam here we can set up right now. We'll click on host webcam down here, right click, and we'll find our camera source. There we are, nice. We can also change the lower third down here as well. So click this text and right click. Let's change this text to my website again. We go techeddy.online. Perfect. So the webcam set up. There's one more source to change here, and that is desktop capture. So if you have multiple monitors, this is actually set up to capture a different monitor to input other data, whether you're bringing in a co-host and you're capturing uh, that screen with their webcam or something like that. We can right click here and display source. So I have three monitors right now. We could capture display two if we wanted to, showing our desktop. To make sure this is actually visible, click the little eyeball here, and boom, now it is showing our second display. Uh, we could put other windows on our second display, um, other information, pictures, text, whatever you want to, to show off on your display capture of the second screen. So a pretty nice feature here. Then we have a starting scene as well, and the Be Right Back scene, just like the live stream for video games earlier on. We have those scenes set up here too, pretty much the same. It says starting soon. Again, you can change all of the social channels here from Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and the Be Right Back scene as well. Again, I'll be right back, and all of your social channels can be changed there too for yourself. All right, and again, you can always change these transitions here for yourself from fading, or you can choose that demo stinger they give you. So go to stinger, look for the demo, put desktop capture here. And so this is a really cool podcast presentation set up for XSplit Broadcaster. That's the desktop capture. Go to host scene. And we'll be right back. And there you go. So a really awesome and easy way to implement uh, these scene changes with an XSplit Broadcaster. So choose whatever category you want there from the five they give you, whether it's uh, PC gaming, console gaming, podcasting, online talk show, or also presentations. And then you can customize everything here from the lower third. Uh, you can add your own sources and graphics too. And this really is a canvas for you to kind of experiment and add new things and really customize it for your own presentations and live streams. And so there you go. We showed you two out of the five here. We're not going to show you all five here because, well, they kind of get repetitive. As you can see, some of the same sources are being used. Some of the same um, graphics are being used. But you can use these as templates for your own creativity and make your presentation and live stream look that much more professional and dynamic. So there you have it, a very simple way and straightforward way to get started in Expo Broadcaster with scene changes. Now keep in mind, there is more to Expo Broadcaster than just the scene, so feel free to play with tools, experiment. There's also something called scene presets, which we covered in an earlier video, so check out that video below in the description. And uh, good luck, have lots of fun with it. I'm Eddie Ray for the Tech Eddie Show, we'll see you back here next time.